Hi everyone and welcome back. Today's video is all about M&S Christmas party food. I don't know about anybody else but when it comes to Christmas buffet party food it's so exciting isn't it to have all those different range of party food and things but a lot of things are not always as good as they look. They're not always as good as you think they're going to be and are some of the items worth it? Quite possibly not. So in this video, me and Emily are going to do a taste testing on quite a few of the Christmas party items that they sell right now in M&S. So I've tried to pick the items that are actually new out, as certainly things that I don't remember having in previous years. So rather than having things that I know that I've already tried, then that would be a bit boring, wouldn't it? So I've tried to pick the things that are new out for this year, or as I say, certainly things that I've not tried before. So what will me and Emily think of the M&S Christmas party food for 2020? Let's find out. A sunny day, but it's cold outside. It tingles in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. I hear those jingle bells, people singing about love. So Emily's just joined me now for a little taste testing session. Yeah. So do you want to show everybody yes. what we've got here like, without tipping? So we've got tipping. these bowl buns. Then I think these are like... Yeah, I'm going to get the card, but if you will, but just keep that steady, won't you? I'm kind of worried them all sliding. What we're going to do is just taste try one of each item that we've bought. Um, because the rest of them, there's a few bits in the oven to keep warm because we're going to watch a Christmas movie and actually enjoy the rest of our food. And then the rest I've put away just for another day because obviously we're never going to eat all of this. So this one is a Middle Eastern style chicken flatbreads. So I've just kept the cardboard pieces on each of them. It smells like this. It smells like it's she. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like this. Looks very nice. So let me grab mine. Well, let's do it together. What about the cheers, Em? Cheers. Cheers, Em. Great. Yeah, I'm hungry actually. Uh, let's not drop it on the rug, thank you. We should have got a plate. They're really good. So these are really good. pulled chicken with Middle Eastern style spices, chilli sauce, and there is a yoghurt drizzle actually, it's supposed to go over it. But we'll do that on the ones when we're sat down eating. I want like it. that. A yoghurt drizzle, why not? Not my phone, look like mm. What I was wanting to work out today is which items are really worth it and which are just mediocre really. They're good. Mm, these are good. What I would say about the chicken is I don't think they're overly spicy. No. The spicy enough, if you like a little bit of spice, but not necessarily loads of spice, I think they're, no, they're good. don't you think? Because you're, you're okay with them. Yeah. Right, next, I think we should get to the, look how cute these are, the snowmen bayo buns. Is that what they're called, bayo buns? Bayo buns, bayo buns. So these are... Bayer buns filled with vegetables in a hoisin plum sauce. Right, you've got the um, red one. I've got the red one. Okay, these might have cooled down a little bit now. So you just put these ones in the microwave whereas everything else goes in the oven. Cheers, Em. Mm. Yeah, they're not as hot now. Mmm. Mm. Mm. You see, these type of things are so expensive. Don't you think? I mean, a lot of them. like a Chinese Asian range. Mm. But this is just part of the Christmas party food. All of the party items, a lot of the vegetarian and sort of cheaper kind of things, are roughly about five pounds an item. But these things are seven pound fifty an item. That's right, yeah. Uh, but you do get four for three. Yeah. Good value, ish. Mm. No, I think it is for what it is. I don't think things like these are good value at all. It tastes lovely. It tastes amazing, but they're not really worth it. But I think it's because of how they're so popular, aren't they? These type of things. But yeah, the Bayer buns for me, lovely, really nice. Seven pound fifty for these is quite steep. Mm. But obviously, you are getting the four for three, and I've got five items, as you'll be able to see when we're going through them. And the reason being is because one item that was selling off cheaper was a reduced item. So I thought, why not try five items? So next up is the mini steak sandwiches. So these here. I think these look really nice. I think they look quite posh, you know, to put out for like a really nice buffet. Yeah, they do. Spread. However, I've got a feeling that this item is definitely going to be one of those items. It's actually gone a bit cold now. 
It's fine, it's all right. Sorry, uh, you need to put your hand underneath it. It's like to slip off, Cheers. like a little slider. So I'll tell you what it is first while Emily's trying. So these consist of a rump steak, sourdough crostini, caramelised onion, Ooh. mustard, and crispy onion. So that's a bit crispy, darling. <laughs> Don't break your teeth. Now, I would say these look really, they look the part and they look really sort of, well, say that, I've maybe overdone that one that I've got. It looks a little bit browner than the others, but um, yeah, they look the part, don't they? What do you think um, while I'm eating mine? They're not my kind of thing. They're really good, but I'm not really into stuff like that. It's a bit cheesy, a bit too well, crispy. <laughs> I've got too much in my mouth now. I had a massive mouthful, sorry. Um, what happened with that is as soon as I put it in my mouth, I couldn't seem to bite into the steak properly. So the whole lot came off the top and straight into my mouth. So it was just like having one mouthful. It is very nice. I don't think it's really my thing. But it's it tastes good. nice, but definitely not worth it. No. It's very fancy, but I don't know if that's what I really wanted. I think you could create that yourself. Yeah. Even if you think a little bit of a bread thing, crusty bread, yeah. just even normal sliced beef, and then like a little cheese and mustard sauce, mm. you could create some type of canapé type thing yourself. Much cheaper than that, I would have thought. Yeah, I think that's quite expensive. And the bayo buns and steak sandwiches are definitely more expensive. Yeah. So at the moment, the Middle Eastern chicken is definitely a winner. Winning. So now we're going to try them the samosas okay next ones are the duck samosas and i can't even pronounce the sauce it comes with a sauce and a plum dip but we haven't done the dips as part of the taste trying no because it's just a little bit awkward isn't it, is it what it looks like? we might try the dips with the next little sitting with our film plum, not really. so anyway the duck kind of parcels they're good but right. they're a bit boring Maybe we need to try the dip. Mm. On the ones that, that we eat with um Shall I go get the dip? I'll we'll just dip it in. So we're back with the plum dip. Yeah, let me show the uh, the sauce. Please don't drip that. Alright, I'll do it over the plate. Why don't you hold the plate? No, it's okay, I'll do it over no, the plate. No, just hold the plate out. I'll do it over the plate. Okay. Sorry. I'm just thinking because we're doing a little taste session here uh -huh. by the tree. Really don't need to, to make it look all aesthetically lovely. But a dip next to a grey rug. Oh, stinks, I'm sorry, but no. So we decided to try the, the dip just because. I'm not gonna like it. I just thought the taste was really boring on the room. Ready? Mmm. Mmm, now the dip's nice. It's spicy. It's like plum sweet spicy. I've not been told you like plum. Mmm. That makes them taste so much better. Mm. Really do. Still, I think £7.50 is a bit steep, but. £7.50 for that? All the items are £7.50. Yeah, but obviously you can get what? like a four for three offer. So what? for every four you buy, you get one free, don't you? Mmm. Mmm. So good. That's much better now. What I would say is there's nothing really bad that you're going to have from MS. Yeah. All the party food. Is going to be lovely. So when I'm saying, oh, they're not this, or they're not that, or just trying to give you advice on which is the best. To yeah, buy just or our opinion really on the on based on the fact that a lot of these items are seven pound fifty per thing. So when you know if you need to buy quite a lot of the different things, if you've got a big family, obviously when there's just you want stuff that's good. The two of us, or me, you, and your dad, then there's three of us. We don't need to purchase that many party food to have you know buffet food for the yeah, three yeah. of us. When we have family or anything, then you have to obviously yeah. have a lot more. Right, last but not least, the prawn toast. Now these look nice. It might be a little bit cooler now. So this is a prawn toast. Just normal prawn toast. Isn't it? No, it isn't. No, our... it says our best ever. So it's supposed to be like an Anything ultimate. Anything that says the best, Cheers, not ever. the best. Cheers. Oh, no, Sorry. Can... I do, I do rate. I mean, Matt's expensive food. I love it. I'm going to put in the sauce. Mm. This came in the sauce, I left it in there. Oh. It's just because normally you don't eat sauces. Oh. 
So we're trying the sauce from the duck. It does come with its own sauce, and I'm sure the sauce is lovely. That's really good. Mmm. Mmm. That's really nice. These pong toasts are the best. Mmm. Literally what it says, guys. What do you think? Mm -hmm. oh, mm. Mm. They were delicious. They were really good. What was your favourite? It's hard to choose one, but I think I've got two. Yeah, I mean, there's some for me that are a bit disappointing. So when I say they were delicious, I mean, as I say, everything, I'm, I'm not going to find anything awful. No. But there are some disappointing ones. So what's your favourite? Okay, favourite two. That's a sriracha. Mm. Yes, yeah. it's spicy. So why don't you pick your, your best two, yeah. and then your, your worst? My best two would be the prawn toasts and the duck samosas. Because mm. I didn't realise like duck samosas without the sauce. And I think it the tasted sauce. really good with the mm. sauce. What about your worst? Uh, my worst, I'd say... But not that you necessarily dislike it. 100% the steak sandwiches, because it's just not my thing to start with. I do like steak. Yeah, you love steak, don't you? It's a bit too fancy for me. No, it's not. It is with the with the mustard and like. Oh, yeah, you're not massively keen on mustard, though, are you? It's no. it's all a bit too much. Yeah. Well, I would I would definitely say for me, I think Emily's definitely right with the steak sandwiches. They were definitely the poorest thing for me. I wouldn't buy them again. No. On that basis, it's not Everything that, not that I just like it. So just not that much to them, really. No, I don't good. I don't think so. So the steak sandwiches is definitely my lowest one Same. out of the five. My top two. I'll go slightly different actually. I would say prawn toast, absolutely winner. And the Middle Eastern style chicken, sorry, I lost my voice then. The Middle Eastern style chicken flatbreads. They were really good. Closely followed by the duck, I have to say, with the dip. So that means like the snowmen and the duck are kind of in the middle for you? And yeah, probably. The snowmen are in the middle. The snowmen are lovely, I really love them. But they're just if they were not reduced really worth the value. Price, but but they are really good. Price. And I think because of how many designs, like if you go oh, to the yeah. MS, they're really cute. If you go to the normal like Asian section, they've got like pandas, unicorns, like different style mm. ones. And then for Christmas they do like these all don't say. Oh it's the Sorry. And then for Halloween they do oh, different <laughs> <laughs> We just had the mem. <laughs> yeah, but then for Halloween they do different designs and like yeah. stuff like that. And I'm sure they probably do like a bunny Easter or something. So yeah, I think do. Yeah, no, all the designs of those. Really and that's good, what you're yeah. paying for, right? You really. And um, everything worth it? What do you think? I think everything is still worth it at Christmas. I personally think it's worth it for Christmas. I think it's high value. It's high value, but it's good. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely. Worth the money. I do. We love, love M&S. Yeah, love M&S food definitely. They are definitely pricey in terms of the Christmas party food, but overall, we would definitely say still worth it. But I would say the top tip is watch what you get. So look for the items that you're going to like the most. Look for things that are definitely more value, which is what I've tried to do today. You know, I'm not going to go for just some cheesy balls when I could go for something chicken and spicy. And So we're going to enjoy the rest of our bits of party food, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to watch a Christmas movie and have a bit of a girly evening because uh, Emily's dad is actually out this evening, so it's just us. Yeah. More party food, chocolates. I shouldn't be eating all those things, really, but I'm it's having okay. a treat now, definitely. It's a week till Christmas, pretty much, so why not? We're going to have lots of treats tonight, watch a Christmas movie, and eat the rest of our bits of party food. So I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video. There's definitely a food-related video coming up, so if you like that type of content, then definitely subscribe to our channel. It's all part of our 12 days of Vlogmas, so go check out our other videos if you haven't already. So give this video a really big like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See you later. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling.